I'm Adam Rossin with the Rossin Law Firm, and on today's video, we're going to see Coral Springs Police Department beating up our client for no apparent reason. Now, this video takes place at the Coral Springs Sportsplex, which is right by Coral Glades High School. It's a big sports complex there in Coral Springs. And um, the situation is there's a teenage boy who says, hey, my, my shoes were stolen. So two Coral Springs police officers go over and talk to him. And he says, you know, I don't know where my shoes are. I think they were, they were stolen. I think it might have been that guy who's walking down, you know, a few hundred yards away. So what, you, what we see in the, um, in the body camera video is the cops say, well, I see him, but he's got no shirt. He's not wearing any shoes and he's certainly not holding any shoes. Um, and the guy, the kid says, well, look, I think it was him. So what do these cops do? Well, one cop says, hey, why don't you go over, talk to the guy, and then I'll just stay right here. And the other cop says, no, I think he's going to be a problem. Let's go together. So they hop, they ride over together in their golf cart. And as they're riding over in the golf cart, one of the officers says, you know what? He doesn't even have to talk to us. We're not going to run up on him. I don't even know what that means, right? What do you folks think that means when a cop says, hey, we're not going to run up on him? But that's what they said. And they said, look, he doesn't even have to talk to us. Do you want to go in front of him real quick and I'll come over and get his 14? Let's just go there together because he's going to be a problem. Let's just go top him and get that him. Right. If they're not going to stop him and they're not going to run up on him, then to me what that means is it's called a consensual encounter. They just want to see if he wants to talk. They drive a few hundred yards over and they see my client walking with no shirt Yo, and no man. shoes. Well, you want to talk yeah, to you for a second? Yeah, no, you're going to stop right now. No, you're going to stop right now. Yeah, talk to you. Yeah, talk to you. Well, did they not run up on him? No. It actually seems like to me that they ran up on him because they drove over, they told him to stop, they got out of their car or out of the golf cart, and my client keeps walking, goes, no, man, I don't want to talk. And they go, hey, stop, stop, you got to talk to us, you got to talk to us, stop, stop. And he keeps just walking, no, man, no, man, no, man. And then finally he turns around and he's like, what's going on? What's up? And these cops get really aggressive. Of course, in the reports, they say that my client turned around and kind of chested up to them, which you really can't see because if it looks like from the video, it looks like if anybody chested up, it was the cops trying to assert their dominance and authority against my client who was just walking and, you know, didn't even need legally to stop to talk to them because he wasn't being detained. He didn't have any evidence that he committed any crime. He wasn't even wearing his own shoes. He didn't even have his own shirt on, let alone where this kid's shoes were. The police officers had no idea where they were. Um, but what do they do? They tackle him. They, both of them basically bum rush my client, take him to the ground, beat the crap out of him. You know, they threaten to tase him and they just, they beat him up. I mean, it's as plain and simple as that in this case. And then what do they do? Well, they charge him with four crimes. They charge him with one felony for burglary of a structure because they found the shoes in a shed. <clears throat> there was no evidence that my client put those shoes in the shed or went into the shed or was ever near the shed, but they charged him with burglary of a structure for that. They charged him with misdemeanor petty theft, resisting arrest, um, and a trespass for trespassing into the shed as well. So they, they just piled on four different charges. Luckily in this case, our client found us and called us and hired us right away, right after this case happened. And throughout talking to our client, well, what did we find out? We found out that one of these officers went back about six, seven years with our client. They knew each other. They went to Coral Glades High School together. They were both on the football team. And what happened was that years ago, our client was the star football player and the police officer was just one of the guys on the team and there was always this big rivalry between them. The cop always hated my client, was always jealous of my client. So here we are seven, eight years later and this high school rivalry is still going on except now one guy is in a position of power and abusing that power along and against my client. So 
None of that's mentioned in any police report. It's never stated that they knew each other, never any of those things, right? But we had to do our investigation, talk to our client, and figure out and learn about what some of these motives really were. Um, we get hired right away, and what do we do? We get the felony case immediately dismissed within about two weeks. Then we only have three misdemeanors to fight in, in county court and misdemeanor court, so much better. We're kind of chipping and chipping and chipping away at this case. After about nine months of us chipping away and attacking this case, we finally get all the three remaining charges gone. So all four charges were completely dismissed on this case. Our client was very happy, but again, our client should never have had to hire us, pay us money, get a mugshot, go through this court process when number one, there was no evidence against him that he committed any crime. And number two, the police clearly violated his constitutional rights and beat him up. Okay. So watch these videos as we put them in. Look at you know some of these reports as we show you the reports as well. Tell us what you think. We want to hear it in the comments from you guys. You know, what do you think? Are you on the, the cop side? Are you on our client side? You know, and let us know because we, we're gonna to continue to show you more and more videos from South Florida from what we see of the police officers behaving badly and violating our clients' rights. If you have any questions about this case or any others whatsoever, give us a call, 754 206 6200.